Hey guys, this is Upesh from Vivo.com and Windows 11 is finally here, officially. Now we already took a good look at the new Windows 11 UI, the new start menu, the rounded corners, the new animations, the widgets etc from the leaked Windows 11 build and now Microsoft has even showcased the new settings app which as you can see looks a lot cleaner with the new theme section and other options. There's also the new action center which looks cool and there's also the new notification center. But you know what, apart from this new revamped UI that Windows 11 brings, the new features are also super interesting. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the five key features and changes that Windows 11 brings. So yeah, let's get started. First up is the brand new Microsoft Store. We knew it was coming, it was long due and it's finally here. As you can see, it has a new layout and UI that goes with the whole new modern Windows 11 design. And I think it looks way better than the cluttered store that is currently. It's also said to be fast and more responsive. Now that's something I'll have to check. And yeah, the search is said to be better too. But what's really the big deal is that this new Microsoft store will allow all types of apps, be the modern universal apps, web apps, and very importantly, Win32 traditional apps like the Adobe apps or a browser like Chrome. In fact, Microsoft showed the Adobe Creative Cloud listed on the Windows Store. So yeah, hopefully more apps are coming. Now this also makes sense because developers can choose to use Microsoft's payment systems or their own and they don't have to give any cuts to Microsoft. That is awesome and this will definitely mean that we will finally have a usable Microsoft Store. Yeah, here's hoping. Now another thing I noticed is that the Microsoft Store's entertainment tab will now list movies and shows from different platforms. So it can actually be a great one play solution. Yeah, I can't wait to check this out. Windows 11 is also taking away one big advantage Chrome OS has had and that's the support for Android apps. First of all, Android apps will be available from the Microsoft Store, which is huge. As you can see, the Microsoft Store is actually using the Amazon App Store so that you can install Android apps on Windows 11. Either ways, I'm excited about this. As for how Android apps work on Windows 11, well, Microsoft is using the Intel Bridge tech to make sure these apps run smooth and nice. Now, as you can see, here's TikTok running on Windows 11 and like any other Windows app, it can be snapped just like this. Now, that's not all. In Windows 11, you will be able to pin Android apps or taskbar, start menu. Basically, you'll be able to use them as your regular app on your PC. Yeah, that's pretty great. So I already showed you guys the new snap feature in Windows 11 in a previous video and it's actually very cool, but there's more to it. I mean, yeah, there are different snap layouts depending on different screen sizes and resolutions and that's very good. But what's actually great is that Windows will remember these layouts even when you switch to a different app. Also, you'll see these snap groups in the taskbar, which will let you open your layouts quickly. Now, what's also cool is Windows now also remembers when you have a snap layout in a different monitor screen. So when you connect to the other screen, Windows 11 automatically opens up the snap layout you are using on that screen. Apart from Snap, desktops in Windows 11 are way better too. First of all, you can now personalize them with different apps and different wallpapers to give all of them a very unique look. For example, here's a desktop for home, for school, for work, and even for game. Now this is awesome and I can personally see myself using this feature. Microsoft Teams is now integrated into Windows 11. Yep, RIP Skype. As you can see, there's now a Teams icon in the taskbar and you can just click that to open up this chat list. Yeah, it's very simple. Now you can click on a contact and make a call or even accept a call easily. You can even use this to text people on the go. Now Teams is available on all platforms, so this is great, but I know a lot of people use Zoom, Google Meet, etc. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if people switch to Teams more because of this integration in Windows 11. Windows 11 is also a big update for gamers. I mean, Microsoft is bringing its Xbox Series X and S features to PC. First of all, there's the new feature called Auto HDR, which will automatically update games with better lighting and more vibrant colors. Well, here's what I'm talking about. Here's Skyrim running in HDR and in Auto HDR side by side. And you can see the difference in colors, right? Now, this will work in not only Skyrim, but a lot of other games. Games like Age of Empires, Rocket League, Doom 64, and a lot more. Now, Auto HDR will probably be supported in devices that has HDR support 
or if you have a monitor that has HDR support. But yeah, either way, this is a cool feature. Another cool feature is direct storage, which is basically games loading assets on the GPU, which means game launching speed and loading times are a lot faster. Lastly, the Xbox app is also deeply integrated in Windows 11 and PCs will also support the Xbox cloud gaming service. So you'll be able to stream games directly from the PC, which is awesome. Now, apart from all these cool features, these are the Windows 11 requirements. As you can see, 4GB RAM is required and so is 64GB chipset. You can also download the new PC Health Checkup app that lets you know if your device will support the Windows 11 update. Well, if you ask me overall, I like the changes and features that Windows 11 brings. I mean, I like the new revamped UI, it looks modern. And I really like the new features, especially the snap and desktop feature, which, you know, seems really useful. But I want to know your favorite Windows 11 features, so comment down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.